What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Thanks for pressing play. My name is Justin and today we are going to be showing you the giant transformation that comes with the Ram TRX going from gloss to a stealth finish. So Expel Stealth is going to change this glossy finish to a satin or a matte finish. It's going to look really freaking awesome. So let's jump right into this one. So one of the things Felipe is doing right off the bat, guys, is removing some of the stock badging. So we can reuse a lot of the stock badging usually, but in this case, the customer actually bought all brand new badging. So all he has to do is just kind of take it off, pull off the tape and prep that surface for Expel. He's doing all of this first before getting into anything else, like I said, just to make sure it's ready to go. So once he gets started with the film, he can just kind of bang it all out. At the end, we'll go through and of course, put all the badges back on anything that the customer wants to have back on because in this case the customer opted to not put the 4x4 logo back on but everything else is going back on other than the door logos as well where it says ram he's doing the trx idea like i did in my previous video so we're gonna kind of follow along with felipe here this guy knows what he's doing and we're gonna he's gonna kind of tell us a little bit about the process as we go but anyway guys this truck is getting the full stealth wrap like i said so the entire surface of anything that's glossy will now be satin or matte it is then getting a ceramic coating on the exterior the windows will be getting tinted and so will the front windshield and then we're going to pop into the interior here and start ceramic coating the interior so yeah for those of you who don't know you can ceramic coat your interior and it will protect things like the alcantara and things like that that normally get beat up on a daily basis and your leather all this stuff will be protected from water spills coffee spills stuff like that so it helps protect from everyday life all right guys so the windows are getting tinted now all of the windows not just the front two all of the windows all the way around and the front windshield as well so that's what he is doing right this second once it's done i'm going to show you guys the finalized product it's going to be five percent all the way around so 20 percent on the rears will add up to about five percent and then obviously five percent on the front that way everything matches all the way around now this is the xr film which is going to help block some of that heat from the miami sun definitely a good idea especially on that front windshield so one of the more important parts to the actual installation of any expel whether it's stealth or the ultimate stuff is this so you got to get all the contaminants off the paint what felipe is doing right now is just clay barring the exterior now you may be asking yourself well wait a second justin this is a brand new truck it shouldn't need any of this it does unfortunately brand new vehicles do not come from the factory with perfect paint and the ram trx is no exception to that rule he is going to pull off a lot of contaminants out of the paint with that clay bar this whole truck has to be clay barred first wiped down again afterwards just to make sure that there's no dust or dirt on it and then we can start to the actual expel install so this is one of the reasons why your installations are a little more on the expensive side there's more to it than just slapping film on a panel the next day all right guys so day number two we got a couple of the pieces already done and i'm going to actually film felipe doing some of it but one of the things i wanted to point out on this particular truck is the black skid plate down here i really like the look of this it really helps kind of sell the black truck with this being black instead of gray but check out what we have done so far we obviously did the hood in stealth so i wanted to kind of make it clear what the difference is here you can clearly see it but you can also see that metallic flake underneath the stealth paint still so obviously still gloss and then the expel stealth now i'm going to take you around to the back because that's also done the roof is done as well but that's a little too tall and you can't really see what i'm comparing it to but if i come around the back here you can see the tailgate is done obviously the lettering and everything still has to go back on but you can very clearly see here the difference in the texture now this is actually labeled a satin finish not matte and as you can see there is still a little bit of a reflection you can see my hand in there but it's much more subdued so kind of a 50 50 shot right there I like it. Now, tomorrow I'm gonna film Felipe actually putting some of this material down just so you guys can kind of see how it's done. But for the most part, this is what this truck's gonna look like whenever it's all finished up. I can't wait to see this thing out in the sun. You can also see a little bit of the roof right there. Of course, another kind of 50-50 shot. Pretty cool. I really like it. So now the tail light here is getting tinted. So normally these don't have to come off of the truck, but in this case, the taillights came out for getting that stealth expel put on anyway. So while it's out, we're going to have the taillights tinted for the customer. Now he did want a medium smoke tint back here. So these aren't going to be totally blacked out. They're just going to be 
kind of darker than the normal bright red from factory. So this is kind of like an air channel release type thing. So it's not horribly difficult to apply, but at the same time, it's not exactly something that a beginner wants to try either. So you can see he's kind of working the air out as it's getting applied just to push the air out so there's no bubbles. I'm gonna kind of just bring you back and show you the final product compared to the other stock tail light. But just know, we do offer this as an option here at the shop as well. The last wipe down is happening right now before he starts to install the entire bedside, which is laying out right here. So I'm gonna kind of show you this application. I think I might show you a fender or a door as well, but the install of the Stealth is pretty much the same. It's just, you gotta be a little more cautious about the, uh, the lines around certain things because this is a total visual change of the paint. So if you leave any of those lines visible, you're gonna see them a lot more with the Stealth versus the Gloss Ultimate. It, it hides it a little bit more. So got it all wiped down. This is going to be the install spray. So as you can see, Tire panel has to be wet down with basically a soapy water mixture. And then he's gonna slowly pull all of this off and wet it as he does to get it ready. And that way any dust that falls on there can be worked out. Now this is just something obviously to prevent getting any kind of dust or dirt or debris in between the film and the, the panel. So this guy's been doing this for a little while. He, he knows what he's doing. He's just basically lining it up at this point, making sure that all the, the alignment points are perfect before he starts tacking it down with his squeegee. Now this is the real important part with stealth here, guys. So like I was saying earlier, you wanna make sure you work that stealth into all of the possible cracks and crevices here. You don't really have to be as cautious with the Expel Ultimate, which is the gloss version. In this case, you'll be able to see anything that is not covered with stealth. It'll be a glaring gloss stripe there. So what he's doing now, whenever he was working between the fender flare and the body, making sure that you're not gonna see any of that gloss stuff. Now, this is, this is the kind of attention to detail that is really going to separate what we do here from most of the other shops. Now, there are a lot of shops out there that are very good, but you are gonna have the shop every now and then. It's gonna cut this pattern too short and they're gonna put it on there. It's gonna show a gloss line here. Uh, you're gonna get dirt and debris and stuff like that. That's where the experience of this man comes into play. This is why I wanted to make these videos and put them up on the TRX forums as well as the YouTube channel. So you guys all know what to look for at least, if nothing else. But obviously I would love for you to come to the shop here for us to do it for you. But if that's not an option, this is what you gotta watch out for. So again, as you can see on the larger parts of the panel here, he can move relatively quick. But whenever you get down into these little nitty gritty areas, it takes him longer on this tiny section here than it will for the rest of this bedside right here, just because again, it's gotta be lined up perfectly and it can't show any gloss lines. It can't have any dirt in it. And he's gonna work it all out. 50-50 shot here, you can see, obviously very glossy, no gloss or very little gloss. Pretty cool. Just about done with the driver's side bedside, but just to show you a little bit of what I was talking about with making sure all this is tucked in. So this is where, where the taillight goes, obviously. None of this can show gloss or you will see it. So he is spending a lot of time tucking all these edges, making sure everything folds over perfectly so you will not see a glossy edge. Like I said, it's the attention to detail is what takes the time. You can install this bed. He could probably have this done in five seconds if he didn't have to really make sure that the quality was there and make sure that there was no gloss lines showing. So it's all about the details. And guys, about 45 minutes later, the panel's pretty much done. He's still doing touch up on everything just to make sure again, no edges or anything are visible. But the majority of the time here is spent doing the detail work, which is tucking edges, making sure all the air bubbles and dirt is out or are out. And it looks phenomenal. 
All right, guys, so we got one of these things tinted and one is not tinted. So I just wanted to kind of show you the difference. This is a medium tint. It's not dark, it's not light, it's medium. To give you a rough idea of what it will look like off the truck, that's what you're gonna see. Now out in the sunlight, and I'll be honest, even on my camera here, you can see more red in this than you do in person. It looks a little darker than what you're seeing here now, but you can clearly see the difference between the bright red and the tinted red. And obviously on a black truck, especially the stealth wrap black truck, this is gonna look a lot better. The next day. Okay, so we're back. We got the bedsides done, the fender done, the hood done, the roof done. Really all that's left is the doors. So with the door, we're gonna start first, of course, with the door handle. So obviously door handles are gloss. We want them to be stealth. We're gonna do the door handle first and then remove the door handle to do the entire door, which is this giant piece of Expel here that will go on the door after the door handle is done and removed. So you guys can see there's actually a little bit of stretch you got to put on the material to make sure that it conforms perfectly to the full size of the door handle. So again, this is not one of those things that just any person off the street can do. Felipe's done this a bunch of times. He knows where it has to be stretched, where it looks good, how to do it, all this stuff. This is one of the reasons why you definitely want a professional to be doing this. And just like that, guys, it is done. So that is one stealth wrapped door handle. Now you are going to see on the door handle, the gap here, which is obviously where the handle pulls forward and right here where there's a relief cut. There's really nothing that we can do about that. I actually talked to the owner of the truck. That's that's that. I mean, with the way Expel is installed, there's no way to prevent these gaps on the handles. The only thing you could do if you wanted to get out of seeing that uh, completely is to wrap this with Expel Ultimate instead, which would leave them gloss. So it would, the door would be stealth while the handle would be gloss. It'd give it kind of a, you know, almost a two-tone or an accent kind of thing. So if you're not happy with the relief cuts there, you could go that route. Next, we're going to jump into the door. The door is a little bit different than the rest of it because of the way that the door is designed. The painted surface goes all the way up and then stops right there, meaning there is no continuous flow of material. So it's a little bit of a, a pain in the butt, but I'm going to show you Felipe doing it. And then after that, that will be the last panel I show you actively getting installed. After this, we're going to jump to the final product sitting outside, ceramic coated and everything ready to go. And bam, guys, the door handle has been removed. So obviously not a giant deal here, but in order to get the stealth expel installed in there in the absolute perfect fashion, the door handle has to come off so we can wrap down inside. That way, at the end of the day, you do not see a line between the door handle and where the stealth ends on the door itself. So door panel is wet down with the soapy solution, of course. Now up here, he is just peeling off the backing, wetting the Expel as he does, so it's ready to be installed. So you, you can see there he lined it up and then squeegeed it down a little bit just to hold it in place. Now, what's interesting here is that there's a good bit of overhang right here. Um, obviously the rubber, the rubber weather seal is going to go back down in here to hide any line again. So at the end of the day, you're not going to see lines showing gloss where there's body panels or in this case, rubber weather seals or anything like that. So again, it's all about the detail work with this stuff to make it look as good as possible. And here we go, guys. It is now totally done. We got this stealth wrapped handle, the stealth wrapped door. It's still drying, so it might look a little bit 
wavy or something. But basically, at the end of the day, that door is done. You can clearly see the difference between the two. And that's it. So from here, the next shot you're gonna see is the truck completely done, ceramic coated inside and out, sitting outside for you guys to marvel upon its beauty with the stealth wrap. But yeah, guys, hopefully this is kind of giving you an idea of why you wanna take it to a decent shop that pays attention to the details. All right, guys, so here it is, pretty much all done. It's about to be washed. So other than the fact that it's gonna be washed and then uh, ceramic coated on the outside and on the interior, it's done otherwise. So full stealth install, full XR Plus window tint install, and then it will be ceramic coated after the fact. It's looking good though. I'm really, really digging the stealth. The only way you can really make a TRX look more aggressive is adding that stealth expel on there. We obviously got the TRX badges back on. The door handles are done. All of the seams are done really well on the truck, guys. As usual, our, our installer here really knows how to make an expel stealth install, basically stealth. So you can't really see any gaps between panels where gloss would show the only exception to this rule of course is the door handles where there is a relief cut right there even then you got to really i got to get pretty close for you guys to really see it but it is there that's really the only place you're going to see it so everywhere else even around the fender vents here we managed to get real tight so you can't see any of the actual gloss paint sticking out from underneath the stealth now up on the hood same kind of thing we didn't actually even have to take out these panels we just got the, the expel in there real tight. Even up here in the front, you can see there's no gloss showing. We did not have to remove any of these panels. So no broken clips, nothing outside of the ordinary OEM stuff here. Now this particular customer already had the black skid plate on here, which looks really good with the, the stealth and the orange daytime running lights. I love it. The, the whole package here is looking really good, guys. But I'm gonna let Felipe go ahead and wash this thing. And then Patrick's gonna come over here and he's gonna start ceramic coating it and ceramic coating that interior and everything. And then we are just about done. All right, guys, so that is gonna do it for the video. If you like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up button. I filmed this mostly to kind of show the guys on the TRX forums what is done with the RAM whenever it gets some paint protection film and how to do it, what to watch out for if you're going to a shop that you're not 100% familiar with, all that good stuff. But anyway, guys, that's it. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of content like this coming you guys are not going to want to miss. And as always, I will catch you in the next upload.